So before we do the what I eat in a day video, I'll just go ahead and tell you that I haven't been uh, to making videos because I've been feeling kind of rough lately. And the reason why I'm feeling kind of rough is because we are expecting baby number two. And I just could not muster up what I needed to to make the videos. Um, the baby was making me feel super, super sick, had a lot of headaches, and it was everything that I could do just to get through the morning to the night until it was time to go to sleep. So recording and cooking and editing videos, just I just couldn't do it. But I am 15 weeks today, so I'm feeling much, much better. The uh, sickness has come and gone uh, for the most part it's completely gone and i'm feeling more like myself so that's super exciting and we're super happy about this little uh surprise and so yeah that's where i've been and why i haven't been um making videos but i've also uh filmed a what i eat in a day for y'all so that you can see kind of what i'm doing right now because obviously i'm not trying to lose weight i'm just trying to maintain and eat healthy as i can sometimes i'm eating just what i can actually get in because uh, this little baby has a way of making certain foods that i love and i'm sure a lot of you have experienced that yourselves um something that doesn't sound very appetizing uh, a lot of times so i just eat what i can get in first trimester uh almost it was almost all carbs because i couldn't stomach the thought of eating anything else so let's just go ahead and jump right on into the what i eat in a day and see how it's been going so for breakfast i've been doing oats some and i'm going to go ahead and make enough where i have a few days prepared ahead of time so this is going to serve four and i'm just going to add in eight cups of water and then i'm going to bring this to a nice boil right before it starts to boil i'm adding in the oats which is going to be four cups and then i'm just going to let this cook until it thickens and i typically use the extra thick bob's meal red Bob's Red Mill rolled oats because that's just what I like. I love the way that they taste and the way they thicken up. And then to add to that, I'm going to make a smoothie because this helps get a little bit of extra nutrition and protein in. So I'm adding in one cup of blueberries, a one scoop of the Sun Warrior protein. I love this because it doesn't have like a weird taste and it's plant-based. And then I'm going to add in one banana. Now this banana is room temperature. You can add in frozen if you like as well. But since I have the frozen blueberries, then I get a pretty cold drink. And then I'm just adding in a couple cups of spinach. And then I end up doing one whole cup of plant-based milk and I like the soy milk um, it's got a little bit of fat and a little bit of protein in it and I'm not trying to lose weight right now so this is perfect and I'm just going to blend this up and then I'm going to have a nice delicious plant-based breakfast that's full of nutrition and protein and it is just perfect and it's super super filling and will keep me full for a really long time like to add in a little bit of blueberries just to help sweeten up the oats and then I just mix it up and eat it as is and enjoy this fabulous breakfast. And then for lunch, I decided to do a simple soup over pasta. So I had this bag of coleslaw um, that I bought just to use. And so I'm going to dump that in there. One can of diced tomatoes. And you can really use like whatever veggies you have on hand. I had some frozen corn in the fridge. So I'm adding in a couple of cups of that. And then I'm just going to mix this up really well. I'm adding in some fresh cut up zucchini and squash. Just going to dump that right in there. This this is going to be going into the instant pot so it'll cook up pretty quickly one cup of crimson lentils and then I'm also going to add in a couple of potatoes that I just cut up into chunks I washed them well left the skins on it and then you can put whatever seasonings you want to in it I like this all-purpose seasoning and I love this vegan 
uh, chicken less seasoning from Trader Joe's and then I'm going to put in some garlic powder as well I can't forget that normally I put in onions and garlic um, into my soup but I was being a little bit lazy so this is what we ended up with and then I'm just going to put it in the instant pot for about three minutes and then let it depressure um, naturally for a few minutes and it'll be ready and delicious it cooks so quick and I love doing that because it makes it so easy to get in a bunch of veggies um, without having to just eat a plate full of just cooked veggies which I like that as well but this just makes it really really easy and then I'm just gonna boil some noodles now these are new pots that I'm using I know everybody always ask about the frying pan that I use this is I think you say care carrot or something like that but anyway the whole set is fabulous and I'm really really liking cooking with this nothing sticks to it I'm gonna put the pasta in there and let it cook as uh by the package directions and that is just the Trader Joe's uh veggie pasta I love the way that it tastes and I'm gonna mix that with the soup that I made and enjoy this simple easy lunch and like I said I've just been getting in whatever I can so I love the fact that I'm getting in a ton of veggies as well And then for dinner, I just wanted something quick, simple, and healthy, so I decided to do sushi. Now, I have made sushi several times on this channel, so in this video, I'm just going to add the link in the video and below in the description box so that you can find those videos easily if you want to go through and watch and see how I make my sushi. Um, this, I'm just adding in a bit of extra avocado and... Um, doing cucumber and carrot like i said super simple super delicious and this really hit the spot and this is not how i'm eating like every single day you know i'm trying to get in beans and extra things like that you know i'm not limiting my fat and i'm not advocating that this is how you should eat if you're expecting this is just what i'm doing and like i said what i can get in in the moment my doctor said to eat what i could and not worry about it too much until i I started feeling better which I am starting to feel better but it just hits me every once in a while and then for all you mamas out there who have more than one child um, let me know how it goes whenever you introduce a new baby give me your best tips and tricks because we're a little bit worried about that um, that our son is not gonna be our only one um, so as always if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thanks so much for watching